What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition review on the Walmart exclusive Ruthless Aggression WWE Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar figure. Now, this is one that I'm pretty excited about. Now, while it is pretty plain Jane in the grand scheme of things, I think that Brock Lesnar has some of the best Ultimate Editions that Mattel has ever done. So, I'm really looking forward to this version. Obviously, grew up on Ruthless Aggression Brock. You know, I was there for the debut. Very young kid, and I've kind of seen him grow up and progress as I have, Brad. And it's been exciting to watch. He's one of the most underrated talents of all time, I think. He's just a walking superstar. I mean, look at this guy. Absolutely Jack. Figure looks great. Here is the packaging, of course. If you guys missed our toy hunt from yesterday, definitely go check that out. But it is your standard edition packaging. Now, since it is store exclusive, the main box color is red instead of white. And then the accents do have the white instead of the red. But here's the front viewing window. You do have Brock here. Three, four interchangeable head sculpts, championship, t-shirt, all the good stuff. We did see this figure back at the WrestleMania Superstore, which feels like yesterday but it's actually been quite some time now, which is crazy. But here's the front viewing window. Figure looks good. If you spin it around, you do get classic Brock there. Ruthless Aggression logo up top. On the back, you do get a shot of the figure and a shot of young Brock, who's looking like an absolute stud muffin. On the other side, you do have his name here, Ultimate Edition logo there, and then, of course, the Ultimate Edition logo from the front, man. But with all those things being said, I can't wait any longer, man. Let's crack this guy open. I have not found RBD, man. Still looking for the Rob Van Dam, one of the most anticipated figures of the year for me. You know, we got Dan House in our hands. We found this on our toy hunt. So, I mean, my checklist is getting pretty small, but I cannot find the damn Rob Van Dam. The damn Rob Van Dam, damn, damn, damn. Oh, Black Betty, let's cut this mother effer out of the box. All right, so here's the Beast Incarnate out of his packaging, spinning round and round as we do here in the review. Looking pretty good. I already have my gripes, of course. We've explored the figure. I'm pretty excited to dive into it with you. Break down all the stuff that we have going on here with Brock Lesnar, man. So it should be very fun. Of course, you guys know how these things work. We're going to run through the accessories of the Brock Lesnar Ultimate Edition first. And then we will, of course, run it back and take a closer look at the figure itself and the Beast Incarnate himself. But let's shut the hell up and dive into those accessories. All right, man, so diving into Brock Lesnar's accessories, let's start things off first with with our championship. Now, personally, this is one of my favorite WWE championship designs of all time. This is the championship, or it's the second championship, because I grew up on, you know, the Attitude Era version, and then, you know, the transition to this when I was, like, six years old, and I love it. I always loved this title, had the toy belt, like, it's, it, this is one that hits me right in the feels, man. Love this championship so much. So many of my favorites have held this championship. It's just beautiful. It's a great looking title. I mean, look at it, dude. Look, just look at it. It just looks so prestigious. I wish they would update this and bring it back because this title just had a really short stint. Not as long as it should have been, so I don't know. I'd like to see that. Next up, we have our four interchangeable head sculpts. Now, while we get four interchangeable head sculpts, I'm honestly not the biggest fan of these, man. I really am not the biggest fan of these. I just think they look a bit off, and the expressions are fine. They just kind of look incomplete, and I, I don't know. Like, the sculpt is very flat. Like, look at the hair. It just looks so flatness. The face, like, looks like Brock Lesnar, but it just looks like old-school Mattel kind of to me. I feel like the eyes just aren't as good as they could be. We also have like the serious one or just kind of like he's like got his teeth showing a little bit. Kind of the here comes the pain a little bit or I don't know. This one probably looks the most like Brock or like a young Brock but I don't know. Am I crazy? These just aren't the best head skulls man. Let's take a look at the third one here and this one's got like the same expression but the wide eye. This is more of like the here comes the pain probably for the cover but I don't know. They just look weird. They don't look like they quite capture that likeness and it may just be because he's supposed to be younger but it just looks weird to me. I'm not a big fan of these head sculpts and this is is probably my biggest con with the figure. And I think we've seen much better head sculpts. You have like, kind of like, he's slowly getting angry. So you have this, then that, then this far left one. Then he's like, ah, it's kind of like that Vince McMahon meme a little bit. It's kind of what it reminds me of, but I don't know. They're not like egregious, but I certainly don't care for them. None of them I go, wow, that looks amazing. Or wow, that actually looks like Brock Lesnar. Or like, damn, you know, you have to take a step back. These just don't do that for me. I think that these are, are lacking in a lot of ways, but I still, you know, I'd, I'd probably pick this one or this one. The, one or these two. The rest, I, I don't know. The, I think it's the eyes, really. The eyes are really throwing me off, but nonetheless, that is your head sculpts that you get with the Brock Lesnar figure. Another great accessory is going to be our Brock t-shirt. Now, he's got the big skull pattern on there. you got the Brock, and then on the back, it does say, he is the next big thing, and it's got the Velcro down the middle, so it does have the continued graphic. I really wish we could go back to just the no Velcro. You know, I wish that could be the standard, what we saw from the, the Street Profits Elite 103. We've seen it multiple 
multiple times. Ultimate Edition Stone Cold Steve Austin. But it does fit the figure well. I did try it on there. You guys will see it later in the video. It looks pretty good on there. And all the graphics look good. I like this t-shirt. I like everything about it. However, I do wish that we'd get away from the Velcro. I think that, you know, that that's probably the next step is just getting rid of Velcro altogether unless it's needed. But I think you can get away with it. Especially being an Ultimate Edition, you can pull the arms off. But nonetheless, I do appreciate a good shirt. And one thing that bothers me about Brock Lesnar figures is how damn tiny his hands are. They always give him baby hands. I mean, I know they fixed it on his gloved figures, but for his non-gloved figures, they always give him these baby regular sized hands. Have you ever seen Brock Lesnar's hands? You get the fists. You do get like the throne sitting, praying, clasping, you know, like sort of stylized hands here. And they're just too small because Brock Lesnar's hands are massive. So I wish they wouldn't give him standard hands. They need to give him like bigger hands, I think. And then making the world go round, we do have the mic holding hands here. So that's also a very good sign. You love to see the mic holding hands. They are the best. So yeah, mic holding hands. All right, so diving into Brock Lesnar here, starting out the head sculpt. This is my favorite. It's the Here Comes the Pain cover face. That's that's what it reminds me of here. Hair's probably a bit too long, but you guys get the point there. But yeah, I mean, the head sculpts aren't my favorite. That's really my biggest con or my biggest thing I don't really care for about the figure. But uh, you know what I do love is this money torso right here, man. This money torso. Stop focusing on Brock's face and focus in on the goods right here. What the hell was even that? Yeah, the torso looks immaculate. You know, all the Ultimate Editions for Brock Lesnar look so good. We're going to get into the comparisons, but I just think it captures his body so well. He's got the shoulder tattoo, of course, over here, double jointed arms. He's got his big, beefy Brock tat on the back. Very good because they didn't put his meat hooks on here. Or did they put the meat hooks? No, they didn't put the meat hooks. They would be up here. But one thing that does bother me, which we'll get into in the comparison, actually, I'm going to show you right now. Like on his older, uh, his older Ultimate Editions, look, they made the back tattoo significantly smaller. So look, this is with the meat hooks. This is on his first go around for the Ultimate, and then this is this go around. So the scaling of the tattoo is off somewhere. I don't know if this one's more accurate or this one's more accurate, but they're different because this is supposed to be the same exact torso and everything. So something is off here about these. So it's definitely worth noting and maybe they did it for the butterfly joints or, or what the deal is there, but it's definitely worth mentioning because it is wrong. And then if you compare it to his Ultimate Edition 15, again, the back tattoo is absolutely wrong. The scaling. I, and I don't know which one's more accurate. Either it's too big over here or it's too small over here and, uh, you know, we'll have to have that addressed for sure, but definitely wanted to mention that in the video and see if somebody else also saw that, but double joint arms look good. He does have like the spinal tat down here at the bottom of the vertebrae. Uh, he's got the black wrist tape, black trunks, you know, nothing crazy with Brock, but he does have the smaller knee pads on there from the ringside exclusive Brock Elite way back in the day, which was such a stud muffin. Uh, I didn't bring that out for the review because I didn't feel like it was up to date, at least for now, but uh, we've seen quite a few Brocks in this getup, but he does have the Ultimate Edition boots, and he does have, these are newly sculpted because I'm pretty sure, or the uh, the Batista Ultimate didn't have the sculpted shoes here with the added toe articulation, so I think that is new for this Brock Lesnar figure. Now getting into the articulation of the figure, man, I mean, you're getting all the stuff you get out of that Ultimate Edition 15, so if you like the way that figure feels, you're going to like the way this figure feels. Now, I will say he does have the drop-down hips and all that stuff, which I think the Ultimate Edition 15 did as well, but I don't know if he poses or feels as good in the hand of, with the shorts on or with the trunks on compared to the shorts, but he does all the stuff you like, man. Butterfly joints look good, feel good, arms feel good, and everything like that. I am really enjoying my time with the figure. Uh, it doesn't feel as, like, maybe as concise or as tight up front, you know? He doesn't feel as uniform collectively, you know what I'm saying? But I still think that he's a damn good football fan. Figure. Now, if we get into the comparisons of this figure. So for your Brock Lesnar figure comparisons, we do have the Ruthless Aggression Walmart Exclusive Elite over here, which is pretty much this figure in Elite form. We have the Ultimate Edition 15, my favorite Ultimate Edition of all time. We have the Ultimate Edition for Brock Lesnar, and then we do have former Brock from Elite 99. And we also have the three-pack over here, but he wouldn't fit, and I guess it really doesn't matter all that much. But here's some recent Brock Lesnar's compared to the Ultimate and stuff like that. But Brock Lesnar is one of, what, maybe two or three guys that have three Ultimate Editions now, I think. Ultimate Warrior, I believe, has three. Brock Lesnar has three. Hulk Hogan may have four or five, if, if I'm not mistaken. Macho Man has three. So definitely some guys out there that got their own Ultimate Editions going on. The Rock has three. So you know, it is what it is. The big names get the big stuff. The Beast Incarnate, the big guy right here, also has three. But you guys can see the differences here between the two. I mean, the Ruthless Aggression Elite will suffice, but th I guess this is certainly better. Oh, look at that torso. This one looks more accurate. And again, look how seamless it is. It's very just 
so menacing. I love it. I don't like the damn head sculpts, though, but this Brock Lesnar is a beast. I think you will enjoy that. All the good stuff going on with the Brock Lesnar, but that is going to pretty much wrap up our comparisons for our Brock Lesnar Ultimate Edition Ruthless Aggression action figure. But I think that pretty much sums up our Ruthless Aggression Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar Walmart exclusive action figure, man. Had a lot of fun with it. It's just as good as I thought it would be. You guys know how I feel about previous Brock Lesnar Ultimate Edition figures. I thought his first Ultimate Edition, the series with Shawn Michaels, was amazing. I thought that the last Ultimate Edition is his best, is the best Ultimate Edition. I think it is the Ultimate Edition to purchase is the new, or not the new, it's kind of a year old now, or it's getting there, is the Ultimate Edition Series 15 Brock Lesnar. That is like one of the best Mattel figures they've ever made, I think. So this one, I don't think is quite on par with that one. This one doesn't feel as structured as that one. This one doesn't feel as quality as that one, but I still like this one. The biggest cons for me with this figure are the head sculpts. I'm really not a big fan of these head sculpts. I think the eyes just have sort of an old school paint method instead of the true effects. And they may have true effects technology put on them. It just doesn't look like it. I think that they're just, I, I really don't know how to explain it. Maybe you guys can see what I'm talking about with them, but they just don't look like they have that Brock Lesnar likeness that I would like. They look kind of, I wouldn't say jacksy, but they don't look as great as current day head sculpts. They Like, I think the old Ultimate Edition head sculpt looked better. I think that they've done previously better head sculpts of Brock Lesnar. So that's probably where my biggest cons are with the figure. But since we have so many options for Brock Lesnar, if you just want an Ultimate Edition of that throwback look of Brock Lesnar, this is the one to get, man. I mean, this looks so good. The Ruthless Aggression Elite is great. You guys saw the comparisons. So I think that this is a very sweet figure. I enjoy the figure. Now, is it as good as the RVD we're going to see later? I don't know. But uh, kind of apples to oranges comparison just because, you know, I think if you're going to compare figures, you need to compare things that are in the same light. So the Ruthless Aggression Elite is very, very good. If you already have that, maybe you want to skip this. But if you want that Ultimate Edition form, I love how seamless Brock Lesnar figures look. That's really one of the key things that I enjoy about Brock Lesnar figures is that seamlessness between the torso, how it just looks so uniform and so clean. I love the build of the figure. I like the, the way it feels in hand. And it poses around nice. I just think his previous Ultimate Edition 15 with the series with Ultimate Warrior in the modern shorts is a better Brock Lesnar figure than this. Even if the Ruthless Aggression era was it was my time and it was the best. So that, you know, that's just the way it is. But at the end of the day, I still enjoy the figure. And if you guys find this at retail, I would grab it. I wouldn't pay out the wazoo for this figure, but I would certainly grab it if I came across it in a retail space or I got it for a really good price, you know, say $35, $40 range. I'd probably purchase it, but outside of that, I would not. So that is your, your guide there. But nonetheless, man, that is pretty much going to wrap this video up. I hope you guys did enjoy the, the review. Of course, if you want to, let me know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. But that is pretty much going to wrap this up, man. Thank you guys so very much for your time. Let me know your thoughts on this figure down in the comment section below. Do you own this figure? What do you guys feel about it? Let me know all those things. But a huge shout out to our patron subscribers or patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. Absolute best guys in the world. Always appreciate your continued support on the YouTube channel. But I'm getting out of here, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>